that's what happened. Break job time uh, the left side on a 2012 is, Sienna. You know, it's, 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 Here are the parts we got. We're going to replace the front rotors and pads. And we're going to be replacing the rear pads only. So there's some... Um, customer stated that there was making a grinding sound. I think we found a problem. It's, uh, it's like a wind coming in. Right? Look at that. Oh yeah. The it's, uh, thing is metal to metal beams. contact right there. Uh, That's I not this good. Is, this is a rubber. Okay, I didn't take a lot of photos on this car, but you know, I gotta do what I gotta do first. So, rear brake pads are only replaced. I didn't need to replace the, the rotor, but um, brake pads have been on the rear has been replaced. New front rotors and pads on the front. Uh, so, hopefully it doesn't make that grinding noise that the customer had been uh, mentioning about this car. We'll take it for a test drive and then we'll be done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and torque this rim down. I already did the other side, so there's no point in me filming that, because it's essentially the same thing. Torque wrench is very useful. You should get one, especially if you're working on a car. Because I always make that mistake. Sometimes I make that mistake of accidentally breaking heads off of bolts. This is a useful tool to prevent me from, ha from doing that. So if you're gonna be working on cars on your, by yourself, get yourself one of these. I got this at Amazon for like, I don't know, I believe, 30 bucks so yeah all right let's go i'm gonna take this car out for a test drive we'll bring it back to the customer and then job done